There's one. Got one. Good one, too. What is up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. This is day two for this week. Uh, I am out here for the striper, baby. I'm going to hit the bass boils first thing, unless I see striper first thing, and then I am chasing boils because I had a blast on Monday uh, chasing boils and getting into those fish. They are great fish, two seven pounders approximately. Man, so much fun. Anyway, uh, they're letting us in now, so I'm going to get on the water, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'll be honest with you right now. The bass catching is tough. As you can see, they're boiling all over this cove. They will not hit anything, and I threw everything at them. So, <clears throat> I think I'm done messing with them. I may just go look for the striper now and see if I can't just chase some boils. Maybe I'll get lucky and we'll start boiling earlier today. These are just bass, but... Someone tried to get it. I've noticed that when you're back in those canyons, the, the size of bass is pretty mixed, but it's a lot of small ones, and they will just rarely go after a big bait. But if you're on the main lake, I, for whatever reason, the bass tend to be bigger and going after bigger baits. All my bigger fish have come on the main lake this year on top water, so it's pretty crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna post up in this spot for a little while I have a good feeling that we've got a good vantage point for the striper boils. They could pop up right here. It's a good spot. If there's already bass boiling in this spot, that means there's bait, which means the striper could most likely come. Typically, it works out that way, so we will see. There's one. Oh, good bass. Good bass. Good bass. Look at this sucker. Wow. Sorry, Juan. Another crankbait bass. Good one, too. Crankbait bass off this point. <laughs> oh, I gotta land him. Good fish. God, he's strong. It's a good fish on the crank. Look at this. Oh boy. So I know I've said it before, but it bears repeating. The striper boil hunt and chase is a blast. It's so much fun. Um, it can be very, very frustrating because it is difficult. Um, a lot of it is luck. They just happen to show up, uh, pop up right near you or close enough to where you don't have to drive across the lake to get to them. So just so you know, it, I mean, it can be very, very frustrating. You know, I, I show some of the day that it takes for me to get one. Um, but, you know, I'm not showing the hours that it takes chasing them, you know, and all that footage because it's boring. Um, but just so you know, it's like I, I can, let's say I get near 
or I see 10 boils in a day, I may only get near three times. Out of those three times, I may get two great casts and one bad cast. And out of the two great casts, maybe they just don't hit it. And then I get one fish. It's like one fish out of like 10 boils or one out of like three that you get near. That, that's what you got to expect. So you got to put in long days and uh, a lot of time because it's worth it. Because once you get that fish, you know, anywhere from three pounds to seven, eight pounds, which is my biggest. I mean, it is insane. They fight so hard and it is so much fun, especially when they boil around you. And that's all about luck. You just happen to be there. So what I do is I, you know, there's three boils going on you know, the last couple of days. So I'm just trying to find a spot that looks nice and boily. I know there's bass feedings, which means there's probably bait, which means a striper may show up here. And I'm just kind of camping and I've got a good vantage point of the rest of the lake so I can see if anyone else is getting on them. Uh, and that's it. It just might be a later day sort of bite. I didn't get into them, into them until about 11. So you never know. It could be a later thing. It's just the bass fishing was not going well. And I saw some bass uh, boiling off this point. Got that nice one. So yeah, it's just... Uh, so very patient, you gotta be very patient for the striper, uh, but it is worth it. All right, striper boil number one just popped up. Nobody noticed it. This one guy hit it for the first time and then he didn't see him pop up again, right between where he's at and I'm at. So I am hoping they come up within my vicinity, because I am about to get busy on some stripers. Really? Got one. Oh, go down him? Yeah, he's coming towards me. Yeah. Look at that. Still going. Now stripey, stripey baby. <laughs> I don't like the boat. Another seven pounder, probably. Good fish. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. What a beast. Oh. <laughs> what a beast. Look at this guy. Huge. Probably about eight. Oh, what a beauty. All right, that was awesome. That boil lasted a long time. I could have even gotten closer, but luckily I got a good cast in there and they're just giants, man. That, that's probably, the other one I got was seven and a quarter. That was probably about eight pounds because it was chunky. Um, it was just amazing. I hope that footage looks good at that boil because that looked crazy. I may just stay in this spot because they've hit it over on this side three times now, just like the other day. I know there's another boil or two, but sometimes it just pays off to be patient and stay in one shot, one spot. But here's the thing, the birds, watch the birds, even the ones when they're on the water, like as soon as they see it, and they've got way better eyes than I do, they start flying that direction. So you see those birds and they start flying in a direction, turn around and head right in that spot because that's where they've been. And that's how I got that one. And I'm hoping I could get some more because this is just nuts. Every time I try to film, they pop up. So it's a good, good way to get them. And don't go the wrong way on the lake, people. So striper chasing boil tip number 12. Wear sunscreen, but put it on at the beginning of the day. Because man, I stopped to put sunscreen on and they start boiling like crazy. Had I headed over to them the second time they came up, I would have been halfway there and could have gotten into them. Also, tip number uh, six, 
don't eat lunch. Come well fed, because you don't want to take a break for any reason. All right, it's looking nice and calm right here. I love this, because you can see a great distance. Uh, and also when the wind switches and it starts to get rough again, I might get on some fish. It's funny, because the <laughs> striper are boiling over there, if you can see. He just went right into him, I don't understand. But I got a pass on the crank. I don't know what's more exciting to me. So the striper boiled, of course, behind me, a massive boil. Right at the same time, I got this sucker on a crank, which is cool. All right, so they hadn't boiled back here. So I just decided to hit this point with the crankbait, a little square bill hooked up which was cool and of course as i'm hooked up big striper boil i don't think i could have gotten to it in time but it was pretty big uh so yeah i'm just gonna head out to the main lake look around for some more striper boils may hang out just a bit longer if they're not going out with any frequency the the boils then I may have to call it all right so here's the score two on the crankbait one on the top water which was a good one and then my big old striper, probably about seven, eight pounds. It was awesome, uh, right in that school. Um, it's just crazy, because right after that, they just spread out. I've seen them boil a little bit more, but they're so far away. Um, so you really have to get lucky, just kind of post up in one of the main spots and just get lucky. Um, but I don't really have time to do that today. Um, but it was a great morning, really exciting. And, and again, I mean, I, I saw them boil all morning, but getting close to them is another question. And then, uh, you know, uh, getting one hooked is uh, another thing entirely. But I got, I think I got one good cast and that's when I got that fish. So that was cool. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna head back to the marina and maybe intercept a boil on the way. Maybe I'll get lucky. Ah, can't see them. They just boiled right there. Oh, they're still gone. Of course, I, uh, I'm in my car, I'm about to leave and I see them boil at center point three times in five minutes. And they just boil right up under this guy's boat. If he didn't get one out of that, he's horrible. But they literally have boiled in the same exact same spot three times now.